welcome to another edition of Hiroyuki Terada, Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. Hiro-san, how are you? Hi, how are you? Very, Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Very, very good. <laughs> okay, what's on the menu for today? Okay, next. Uh, today, so we're going to get a shrimp uh, for the tempura. Stretch the shrimp. Stretch the shrimp. Okay, yeah, we have a lot of requests for this. And there's another yeah. word for this, right? They call it nobashi? Nobashi. Nobashi is mean actually stretched. Stretched, okay. Very, very good. Yeah. All right, so we are using today... Yeah. 1315 shrimp. 1315, and again, if you didn't see our last video, yes. 1315 pertains to how many pieces in a pound? It's a between 13 to 15 uh, pieces shrimp in, in one pound. Right. So, so of course, every shrimp is a little bit size different. Right. In 13 count, 15 count, uh, 13 count is a little bit more bigger. Right. So, okay. So, with a shell. With a shell. So, what's the first step? First step. Actually, take off the shell. Okay. So last time we made the steam shrimp with the shell and then put in bamboo skewer. But this time, stretch shrimp. First, we're gonna take over the shell. Okay. Okay, let's do. And then this one too. Like this way. Okay. So, I'm gonna take one more. I'm going to make a two different way to start the shrimp today. So I'm going to first of all take off the shell four piece. That's good. Here. Oh, you can do the Benny Honey style? Yeah, the Benny style. <laughs> Okay, so what's the first step? First step. <coughs> first, you need to take off the vein. Cut on the back. How far do you cut into there? Um, maybe quarter. It's not really half, even. Okay, half. just to, to get to the yeah, vein. Take the vein out. And then sometimes you can take off a little bit this stuff. Because um, this one, you can do uh, either cut this way, cut off this way, or someplace actually cut off the this way. Uh, because this one, uh, when you fry it up, it's too many water inside. And w when you're doing the fry, sometimes the explosion. Okay. Oh. Now what's that black stuff? What is that in there? This black stuff is... Uh, oh, they, I don't know how they call Part it. Part of the shrimp coloring? The, yeah, shrimp coloring, I okay. guess. Okay. Let's take the order being out. Just a little bit cut. So shrimp doesn't, really doesn't have any brown spot, I mean, it's kind of clear. A little bit. And this one, this shrimp doesn't have it too. Hmm. This one clean too. Okay, after take off the bang out, and then once you can wash, uh, use the running water too. But today I'm going to use a bottle of the water, like this one. And you can you can actually wash in the this area after you took off the vein. Okay, and then actually in a moment, I actually forgot another four pieces for taking off this side. Sometimes I forgot my job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to take off this one. And then and wash. Okay. The wash. Taking out the water. So now we're going to start the stretching shrimp. Okay, first one, uh, at the very side, cut the kind of, how they call it, the vein. Just make some cuts diagonally, yeah. one direction. Like this. Okay. okay. Then, you're going to use uh, your fingers. Maybe you can 
みたいな形だなんですいかんヒアダーサウンドロックリックリックリックそれでどうやってプロセスをブレイクダブルのベインブレイクダブルのベインはい。あなたはベインはなくそう。いや、like this, that's it. Okay. So one time. And another, another style is same thing. You cut the first, this area. Okay, then repeat on one side. You cut one more. And this and the other side. It's a lot of work, a lot of cutting. Mm -hmm. Like this. So this one, yeah, like this. That's it. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Another style is a little bit quick stretching, two pieces together. You take the two pieces to go this way. Okay. And then the same way. Cut the 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 the. Okay. Right. Then <laughs> actually we're gonna do. Just flatten it out, huh? Mm -hmm. Interesting, okay. So, I think more, the finger one is more like a, exactly the way it stretch. Yeah, look how long that it's is now. You just added all this length to at least another inch and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So, this one is the two, two pieces together. It's, it's kind of short if you compare with this one. Almost same. It's a little bit shorter, right? Right. Oh, yeah, a little bit small. So yeah, this one. Let's do a quick comparison. Yep. Okay. Okay. So this is the uh, three different way we made a stretch. Okay. Like this. So mm -hmm. from here we do some tempura. Uh, yes, we're going to make tempura with the shrimp. Okay. Okay. So we made the shrimp stretches already. So right. now we are going to make a tempura. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the tempura flour, and this is the tempura butter with the ice water, but then the tempura uh, butter. Okay. First step is uh, you need to put into the powder first. Okay. I'm gonna do this process for piece. And the flour is basically, I mean the tempura batter is basically this flour plus water. That's it. Tempura yeah, batter. Temp yeah, water. And also sometimes we use the some place use the uh, egg. This, yeah, mm. that's true. Additionally, a little bit, one, 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 two pieces of it. The powder first. Okay. And, uh, okay, then let's go to the okay. Which two shrimp are these? Are these the style one and two, or the last one, the one you use the knife? Uh, with the, that was, uh, uh, with the finger. With the finger, okay. Uh, when you touch with a chopstick, it's, uh, it's kind of crunchy, you know, outside, it's already done. Okay. Beautiful shrimp. Very, very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Nice. It's kind of straight, right? Yep. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So, and let's go to another two piece. This is with the uh, two piece together. Two piece together. Two okay. <laughs> Maybe uh, stretch on different way. So. Okay, beautiful poppy string. Nice. Tempura. Okay. Here. 
Okay, they look good. I've got that eight. Yeah, it looks almost the same. You can't really tell. Let's get one last look at these beautiful, beautiful shrimp tempura. Mm -hmm. And we showed you how to do it the stretch. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. Right. And one thing is, uh, before you, after stretch, and then before you tempura, make sure uh, not too many water on it. Right. There's too many water on a shrimp. Okay. It's not so good. Very, very good. Yeah. All right, well, thanks so much, Hiro. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Again, it helps us on YouTube. If you guys uh, don't mind sharing it, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all so much. Thank you very much. See you soon.